Hey everybody, welcome to Acme's 2022 Virtual Toy Show. Glad you could come here and join us. Uh, we were hoping that we'd be back in Germany this time uh, for the toy fair, but uh, I guess the world wasn't ready yet for that. All right, um, what we're going to do is show you some updated samples of projects that you have already know that you already know about and that we've already announced, and also show you some new stuff. And then uh, don't have as many samples ready as we did last year at this time, just because we're having to plan so far out for production these days. Um, but rest assured, we got a ton of stuff coming, brand new stuff coming in 2022, um, and we'll talk about that as well. All right, here we go. Start with the Chevrolet stuff. Here is the first sample of the Feathers Edition Blazer. You guys already know about this one, but wanted to show you the sample up close. The Deco um, package on this turned out really, really nice. Um, we just were really happy with the way that uh, they applied the decoration on these. Can't wait to see the production run. And uh, there's, there's several other special edition blazers that uh, we'll be looking at. All right, here we have the two Holly ramp trucks that we talked about in last year's uh, toy show. The white one and then the green one to match the uh, shop truck that we did for them. Uh, those will be coming out this year, I promise. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about them. So uh, just stay tuned for the release dates on those. On the back of the white Holly ramp, we have the blue Dick Harrell Copo uh, 69 Camaro. And that is, uh, obviously y'all know about that one. And we tooled up the rear spoiler for this car, which was unique to uh, some of Dick Harrell's Copo Camaros. We also tooled up, uh, most of, all his Camaros were uh, automatics. Um, or most of them anyway, and these editions were. So we tooled up the uh, automatic steering column, shifter, and the uh, transmission parts. Uh, next to it, we have the, the next Dick Harrell Camaro that we'll do, and that's one he did in silver. And he also did a dark hunter green one as well. Um, the silver and the hunter green one will come at the same time later this year, probably Q3 is what I'm thinking. Behind it, to represent the next Wrapped Fink item that we're going to be doing is uh, Ed Roth's 57 Chevy Bel Air, kind of like his shop car. Uh, this is a model kit that uh, Rebel made years ago, really nice kit, but uh, we can replicate that right down to the T uh, with our tooling. All right, moving on to the Mopar Dodge category. Here we have the Ram Chargers ramp truck. Turned out great. Um, we know you guys love these Ram Charger items. Uh, we're excited to have that license. Uh, we're looking at doing some of the Ram Charger uh, Super Stock and Pro Stock Kudas and Challengers uh, later this year um, to match up with this ramp truck. We have the white ramp truck as well. Um, then on the back are the, uh, the bronze Kudas. The regular edition hardtop you know about. Um, this one is a bit of a Surprise, a new announcement that's going out today, the Vinyl Top Edition. We're going to limit that one uh, pretty closely. I think we're going to try to top that one out around 400 pieces. So watch for that announcement and get your orders in as soon as you can. In front is another one that you guys have been asking a lot about. This is Don the Snake Prodome's ramp truck that we uh, took the graphics from his, his actual ramp truck that he and... Uh, Tom McEwen, the mongoose, ran back in the 60s and 70s, I believe. Uh, this one's still under licensing review, so stay tuned for more updates on that. And we're going to do a Tom McEwen mongoose version of this one as well. So they'll come out at the same time. That was one of the greatest rivalries in drag racing history. Those guys were just great friends on and off the track, but some of the greatest, fiercest competitors. And... Uh, Anywhere one ramp truck with their uh, Mopar on the back was, the other one was right next to them. So that'll be a great set. Uh, then we have the Michelin uh, D300 Dodge ramp truck with the vintage Michelin logo um, on the hood and on the doors. Uh, nice looking piece for all your vintage uh, Mopar Dodge Michelin branded products. On the back of this, we have the Chicane Challenger. With the all with the all new uh, G not G four excuse me uh, Pro Touring Street Fighter wheels that we just made, 
and done some treatment to the engine bay, high-rise air, air intake. Um, this one just turned out really nice. Basically, this was a uh, Trans Am car for the road. We put the full Trans Am uh, interior in it, same one that we made and used for the Sam Posey Challenger many years ago. Um, this one just turned out really nice. And going to the Ford section. First up for ramp trucks, we have the Firestone. Nice uh, throwback Firestone livery on this. Um, traditional off-red colors that they used back in, I want to say that was used back in the 50s and 60s. Um, on the back of that is our next AFX drag car, and this one is just awesome. This was the Bat Car, as it was known, raced by Al Joniak and sponsored by Rice, Holman, Ford um, out of New Jersey. But just a great paint scheme, great story to this car. Um, yeah, can't wait to see uh, see this, this one get into production. Watch for the announcement on that one coming pretty soon. After that... We have another brand new ramp truck that we're pretty excited about, but uh, the factory rushed this sample a bit. It's the uh, Port Chop uh, Ford F350 ramp truck, the first Port Chop ramp truck we've offered. They got a little uh, heavy on the uh, overspray for the dirt uh, graphics, dirt decoration. So we're going to revise that a bit. Um, it'll look fine. Looks pretty good now, but need to do a little bit more... Uh, touch up on that one shall we say but that'll be a great piece to uh, add to the, the collection to display all your pork chop uh, models that GMP and Hackney have done over the years so look for that one that's a Q2 Q3 release last but not least the Gulf Ford ramp truck we had this one on display uh, during the trade show videos last year as well um, this one's getting made this year I promise uh, most likely Q3 is what I'm guessing. Uh, it does need to have that gulf blue and the orange uh, revised a bit. It's a little off, as you can see. But another great ramp truck uh, for all your Ford Gulf items. And then I'm sure eventually we'll do a Chevrolet version for all the Gulf Chevy stuff that's been done over the years as well. Um, now, just a few other things to talk about for items that we didn't get sampled up in time. Um, one of the greatest projects, one of the most uh, uh, exciting projects that we have that we're working on for uh, Chevelles for later this year is going to be the um, Briggs Chevrolet Chevelle convertible drag car. This is one of the most requested, if not the most requested drag car that we've had over the years um, and just couldn't get around to doing it, but uh, we're going to make it happen this year. Um, another great and fun project that we're going to do uh, with the blessing of the world famous Ohio George is we're going to do a tribute street edition of a 69 Boss 429, or uh, excuse me, it's going to be a Boss, um, a Boss car. Uh, the engine that we're going to use is going to be our all new um, 429 with the Boss 9 intake setup and pulley setup that we uh, debuted on the Mach 1 Bullet Mustang. Um, we're going to fit our Drag Outlaws wheelie bars to it, um, Drag Outlaws wheels, so it'll just be a nice tribute street addition uh, to the Mr. Gasket Gasser. And then we'll follow that up at some point later down the road with the Mr. Gasker, excuse me, Mr. Gasser, uh, blue edition, um, also with a dra all the drag features. Um, just to continue on that, we have a lot of great new stuff lined up, um, planned for new parts and accessories to give us new configurations on existing tooling. Uh, we'll have some really nice uh, four-wheel drive K10 Chevy pickup trucks coming. Um, we'll continue the Southern Kings. Uh, custom series with the great, you know, kind of metallic scallop paint jobs on El Caminos, Rivieras, um, St. Regis's, maybe even a Chrysler New Yorker, just those custom cruisers um, that we see at all the car shows and that we saw back in the 60s and 70s with those paint schemes. Um, obviously, there's more CUDAs to do. Uh, 
You guys seem to like those, and so do we. We love the billboards. Um, and then more hot rods, 32 Fords, uh, 32 Ford pickups. Uh, just a, We have a full plate uh, of stuff coming from Q2 to uh, Q4 next year. So thank you all, and stay tuned for more updates.